In this video, I'm going to review the SkyGuide website, stack it against the competition, and hopefully inspire you to create better designs and make more money by selling higher quality websites. So if you want to know whether this website passes my truly professional website test assessment, make sure you watch until the end when I will reveal its grade and income potential. Hello, I'm your host Caicinho, I'm the Digital Alchemist, and in this new series, the goal here is not to focus on flashy websites that require an army of designers and developers to build. Nope. But instead, the idea is to focus on one website design that could be created by one single person or by a very small team. And this in order to inspire you and help you assess the quality and potential income of a website. So today I'm going to focus on the SkyGuide website. So I found this website on the awards website. And even though it's an aeronautical safety website, I want you to keep an open mind because basically, as you see in a moment, this is typically the kind of website that you can use as an inspiration for a corporate website. And trust me, these are good gigs to get. And just so we're on the same page, here is how I'm going to proceed. I will assess this website over four topics. First impressions, identity, content, and technical. Each topic will be noted on five points and the final assessment will be noted on 20 points. Now, please know that this is my subjective assessment and not the universal truth, but I've been creating websites for a living for many years and I have quite some experience doing that. So let's start with the first impressions that can be broken down into desktop, mobile, tablet and versus the competition. Okay, let's start with the first impressions, which as the name says, is all about what first impression do you get when you land on this page? Now, I must be honest, when I first landed on this website, I didn't get the wow effect, but then it started to grow on me because first of all, it's super clean. And you know, if you know anything about me and my channel, I really love clean minimal design. Why? Not just because it's my personal taste, but also because these designs stand the test of time. Now, of course, it's not a really fancy website. Like I said, it's more for a corporate website, but as I mentioned, it started to grow on me. When you open the navigation, get all these little refinements, and this is purely in the Swiss design style. You know, there's a very typical Swiss design style, and it's really well portrayed here in a very modern website. The design is very consistent throughout the website, and I really like it. It's really well organized, really easy to find information, and when you go from page to page, you realize the sheer amount of work that went into this website. The pictures are gorgeous. The quality is really good. The font is very readable and you can really quickly scan the page to see what's important. Here they want to show you some text, but then they don't put a bunch of text all over the place. It's just hidden behind toggles and accordions. And I think it's really nice. If I don't want to read development training, I don't have to. This website uses a lot of white space and like I mentioned, the pictures are just gorgeous. So it's really good and the consistency throughout the website really helps because once you start navigating, you know instinctively where you're going to find the type of info you're looking for. Now watching the website on a tablet is nice, but you can definitely see that it put more work into the mobile version and who would blame them? I mean, what's the percentage of people that are going to watch this on a tablet? Now, maybe the target demographic is going to watch it more than a tablet, but usually it's going to be around, what, three, four, five percent. But still, it's really usable. It works really well. And the same remarks are made for the desktop version. But yeah, like I said, I really feel like the desktop and the mobile versions got a little bit more love. OK, watching this website on a mobile is a gorgeous experience all works really well and you can see that they put much love into the mobile version. Now, of course, it's consistent with the rest of the website on desktop, but I really like the way they implemented it because, you know, some companies, they're going to make a mobile version. They're going to try to make it look nice, but they forget that some people have some really big fingers and here it works really well, whether you have tiny or big fingers. So a very nice impression on the mobile. Okay, so how does it look against the competition? So I made a little research in Google and opened a few websites. Now, these are not exactly competitors, but in the same industry. So we got a European Union AFT safety agency, lots of text, few images, lots of info everywhere. It's giving me a headache already. Then we got Skies. This is like the equivalent uh, in Belgium. And you know, it's kind of a mixed bag, some, you know, nice hero section, but for the rest, 
I don't like those old um, shadows and they try to make something modern but it doesn't look as nice as um, the sky guide then we got this one in Italy this one is really modern but also a lot of colors a lot of uh, text cramped I mean too many things but there are some good things on this website maybe I review it one day but I still prefer the sky guide and then you got this one this one this one <laughs> I'm sorry but so if you compare with the sky guide I think the sky guide really has the upper hand here so for all these reasons for my first impressions I'm going to give it a grade of four out of five okay next let's move on to the identity which can be broken down into the logo the colors the fonts and the style versus the target and let's start with the logo now if you know anything about my channel and the series you know that I do appreciate and actually love typographic logos and this one is not bad per se but there's like nothing special about it even the font the font is nice but yeah it really feels like it's maybe too simple I don't know um, I just don't get the same effect I got with other typographic logos so still it's not bad I've seen some very worse logos we saw in the competitors but I mean it lacks something next let's talk about the color palette now this is a corporate website and it feels like a corporate website because of the the colors the blue palette but it works well like we're gonna see in a moment it works really well now the palette is easy on the eye and it's contrasting enough with you know light blue dark blue so i think it works really well now of course something is lacking it's like uh, another color that we really make like the accent color that can really stand out next let's talk about the font and that's going to be an easy one because there's one font it's called interfaces regular with a weight here of 400 let's open this one it's the same font everywhere and once again if you know anything about the channel and anything about design especially web design we recommend a maximum of three fonts two is better I've rarely seen just one font, but hey, it works well. Now, one thing you can do sometimes is just mix a couple of fonts so that you get a, a little bit of contrast also and dynamism in the typographic design, but it works really well. Okay, next let's talk about the style versus the target. Now, this is an aeronautical safety website, and like I said, it's very corporate. So if you factor this in it works really well it's really consistent you got blue colors it's really reassuring uh, it's about safety after all so I think it works really well now sometimes people try to have funky colors because you know they want some disruption but people when they fly they don't want disruption here and in the corporate world most of the time they want to be on the safe side so I think it works really well so for all these reasons for the identity I'm going to give it a grade of four out of five okay next let's move on to the content topic which can be broken down into navigation quantity quality and funnel and so let me open the navigation and as you can see we got this almost full screen navigation it's bold it's readable and it looks really good i really love those lines on the side typical swiss style now let's say i click on company you got this sub navigation and the rest for all uh the first line of the navigation so works really well in my opinion and the same goes for the mobile even though we reviewed the mobile before but i just wanted to show you how it looks here uh on the mobile and the same thing i click on the company and then we got this fly in that i can go back so yeah works really well also on the mobile next let's talk about the quantity of content and there is a lot of content as you can see when i click on elements in the navigation you can see the sub navigation and when you get to those pages first of all like i said the images are really good quality and the content there's a lot of content but it's hidden in toggles and accordions which is a smart thing to do because a lot of people will see this website on a mobile okay now let's talk about the quality of the content i already talked about the images but the quality of the Im images are really good and that's a must have for any website but especially even more on a corporate website now the text is very well written and you know I, I wasn't expecting less from this type of websites but sometimes it's hilarious or sad that you get on those type of websites and you see typos and a lot of errors I mean 
one can happen but should be removed but some websites they don't feel they don't look serious but in here it's really well crafted well written and well and neatly organized okay next let's talk about the funnel if there was any funnel well that's the bad thing here i don't see any funnel uh no call to actions just yeah links i can click on links but no clear call to action if i get to the academy page for example it could be something like uh get training with us or something nope nothing just it's telling you what to do what's gonna happen but it's not asking you or maybe here view our commercial services it's really subtle i mean i just noticed it noticed it now uh because i'm looking for it but when i was just browsing the website i didn't even see this so yeah bad point for the funnel so for all these reasons for the content i was going to give it a grade of four but because of the bad funnel or the no call to actions i'm going to give it a grade of 3.5 out of five okay next let's move on to the technical side of things which can be broken down into speed dynamism interactions and the use of trends and when it comes to speed it's not the fastest of websites but it's not bad either and the good thing is it got this transition so it, it's really like seamless you don't really feel like it's slower it's not slow don't get me wrong i'm just saying i just reviewed uh, another website that i didn't post on the channel but i was browsing a website that was so fast and then i landed on this one so i could feel it a little bit but it's not bad let me go to another page and i've never been to this page okay so yeah not the fastest but with the transition it works well next dynamism and by that i mean does the website feel flat and boring or is it alive and from the get-go you can see it's alive you got this little mesh i don't know if you can see here when i move the mouse you get this little mesh effect with the compression of youtube you may not see it but i think it's quite interesting and should be quite easy to replicate with some javascript well easier said than done but i'm sure we can find uh some of these online for the rest you got these subtle animations so it feels like it's alive it doesn't feel flat at all so here's another page you can see the loading screen you know it went up let me refresh so yeah it does feel alive even though yeah uh, there are many bells and whistles but then again this is a corporate website you don't want things to move you know all over the place but you know subtle little animation and it's working fine in that regard next interaction so there aren't that many interactions but just like for the previous point it's a corporate website so you want to limit the interaction but as you can see here when i hover over the element it moves the images on the right hand side and this type of little interaction is more than enough for this type of website and if i click on any of these it's going to take me to the right page but for the rest yeah not really fancy but just what it needs next let's talk about the use of trends and it's using some of the trends like the big and bold fonts like you can see here um the line design but for the rest it doesn't go into the crazy uh asymmetrical design with 50 fonts and weird colors and i must confess i hate those type of websites but i'm professional enough that i can build some of these if my clients need it and i can go into a professional mindset but that's a story for another video but here it's impl implementing some of the trends but in a neat way and this website is still going to look good two or three years four years from now it's not going to look ridiculous so for all these reasons for technical i'm going to give it a grade of four out of five so at the time of recording this video and reviewing this website if we add all the grades we come up with a grade of 15.5 out of 10 which is a good grade knowing that i consider anything 14 and above a professional website that you can sell for a higher than average price okay now let's talk about income potential now a little disclaimer here when we talk about income potential of course where you live really matters do you live in switzerland or in bangladesh in the united states of america or in romania but that being said if you factor in that this website is intended for a small to medium to even a 
large company plus the clean minimal design and the sheer amount of content. Well, you could sell this website between 8K and 50K, depending on the amount of content, depending on the photo or even the video production, depending on the number of languages, because this website is already in three languages. And of course, depending on your sales skills. Here I'm talking in dollars or it could be euro, depending on the conversion rate. But don't forget, some people would never be able to sell this website for more than 500 bucks that with the same quality, of course, but they wouldn't be able to sell more than 500 bucks, while others would sell it for a minimum of 100K. So it really depends on your sales skills. And like we saw a moment ago, it also depends on your location because $5,000 isn't the same thing in Los Angeles and in Bangkok. That's the hard truth. But I'm just giving you an average income potential. Now, of course, whether you create this website in six weeks, three months, six months, or a year is also going to determine if it's profitable or not. But let's say that this website did cost between 8K and 50K. Well, my guess is that the client would be really happy with the results, especially when you stack it against the competition. Now, to be honest, because it's for a large entity in Switzerland, my guess is that it costs much more than 50K. Now, how would I build it? Well, it doesn't really matter if you outsource the development, hand code it yourself or use WordPress. Clients only care about end results and return on investment. Now, personally, I think I could build something similar with WordPress Elementor Pro, affiliate link in the description, plus probably Jet Engine and WP Rockets, just to give you an idea of the main plugins I would be using. But of course, you could build this with bricks, with Gutenberg or with the builder that you are most efficient with. At the end of the day, they are just tools. What matters is the end result. Okay, so today we reviewed an aeronautical company corporate website. But which type of industry's website would you like me to review next? Please let me know in the comments. Now, if you liked this navigation, well, I got a full playlist about Elementor full screen navigation. So this one is not full screen, it's not exactly the same, but I got many different ones and beautiful ones. So if you're interested, you'll find a link in the description below. And of course, you also find a video card at the end of this video. And if you enjoyed this video and my work, please give it a thumbs up because it's really gonna help the channel and it doesn't cost you a dime. And if you want more web design goodness, consider subscribing and smashing the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. I hope that this video will help you become a better web designer and sell higher end websites. So I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget, I'm trying to build the content I wish I had when I got started. So I'll see you in the next one. And until then, take care and stay safe. Cut.